So this video right here uh, was sent to me. Uh, a guy named Mats Danielson over in Sweden made this video for me. And that's him that was actually uh, filming it uh, there. And he had, uh, we've been Facebook friends for a while. He was uh, one of my original uh, people from way back. Uh, we've sent messages a couple of different times, but Sunday morning he sent me a message and said, "Hey, I've I've made a video." He said, "If you want it, I'll I'll send it to you." And I said, "I said yeah, I said that'll work." So I got him to use a uh, Dropbox and sent it to me because it's an eighteen minute video. You're not going to be able to email it, but this is a cut to length login in Sweden there where he's at. So some very cool stuff. I, I really enjoy communicating with other loggers like like you know him seeing how they do things because it, it always intrigues me logging is something i've done my entire life and you know seeing the different areas the wood the ground all of that stuff like that so some facts about it those uh forwarders were carrying about 20 to 23 tons, metric tons, I believe he said, on their backs when they were coming in and then stacking it. The truck load that you've seen getting loaded there, the total truck load, everything was uh, 64 metric tons is what, they, what they're hauling over there. But one thing, this across the board in logging, it, it, it doesn't matter whether you're here you're in Canada, South America, Australia, or New Zealand, or Sweden, or Russia. There's one common thing that takes place. You got you got trees. You got to cut them down. Then you got to get them out and process them, or either process them before you get them out, one or the other. They got to be processed, 
whether they're true length or cut to length. And then they got to be taken to a meal. I don't care where you're at. That's all the same. But the cool thing about it is, is it's done thousands of different ways. The way that they do it there in Sweden. And then they do some, uh, they do some other type of logging over there, kind of like what we do over here too, you know. And, you know, every area is a little bit different. And sometimes, you know, it's hard for people to kind of understand that. But a big thank you to Matt for sending me this video. If anybody wants to, and he did the whole thing. I didn't, I didn't edit it. He did all the editing. He did it all. So, I mean, that's great. I mean, it saved me a bunch of time tonight for, from having to do some editing. So, if any of y'all have some videos like that, uh, and you want to send them my way and you don't mind me using them or anything and putting them on YouTube, I'd love it. I'd love to share logging around the world. And, uh, I just, I love it. You know, that's, that's what I do. That's what I love. So, uh, I was going to add some more stuff to this video, but I'm going to leave it just like it is, man. It, it's great. Love it. But, uh, very cool. Hey, we need loaders like that on trucks. And then that way I wouldn't have to load a truck no more. The driver could load himself, do the whole thing. That, that would be very cool. So let me know your thoughts down below what you think and uh like i said if anybody out there it doesn't matter whether you're you know swamp logging or regular logging the uh, knuckle boom loader pull through delimmer cut the link i don't care helicopter uh yard or stuff and you want me to showcase something of yours uh hit me up on uh on my email and i'll tell you how to get me the give me the video to me uh uh, cotton top three at yahoo.com c-o-t-o-n-t-o-p-3 at yahoo.com so appreciate all y'all watching i'm looking forward to hearing the feedback on this one so we'll catch y'all later later taters